All right, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I'm finally going to talk about this guitar. Ernie Ball Music Man, about a week and a half ago, released ultimately the best silver burst guitar I've ever seen in my life, and I want to talk about it, finally. I'm a little late to the party, but better late than never, right? Let's get into it. Before we talk about the Silver Burst guitar, first off, if you're brand new to my channel, thank you so much for coming to hang out with me, or if you're a returning viewer, thanks for coming back, it means a lot. If you'd be so kind to subscribe at any point in time during this video, I'd really appreciate it, it'd mean a lot, it'd help out my channel, it'd make me happy, and uh, yeah, just thanks so much in advance, and with that being said, enjoy the video. So what is going on everybody, thank you so much for joining me for today's video. My name's Ray, I'm a guitar player here on YouTube, and I am the biggest Silver Burst fan that I know ever. <laughs> it's my ultimate favorite finish. I have a whole bunch of silver burst guitars myself. Um, I really just love the way that it looks on pretty much any guitar and every guitar. And, uh, you know, Ernie Ball Music Man just kind of just like hit me right in the feels with this guitar, man. It is something absolutely special and I want to talk about it. So this guitar, the story isn't exactly the, you know, the most, uh, you know, fresh of stories. It's a little bit dated. It's about a week and a half old, but the day that this guitar was released, I was up in Brooklyn, New York, playing a gig, playing a show. So when it broke, I wasn't here at home. And, uh, you know, just after that, just Things just kept piling up and, and you know, I just it took me forever to finally make this video and talk about it. With that being said, this guitar was released on July 30th and this Instagram picture was posted and it just blew me away. This guitar is gorgeous, man. Um, what's interesting is this guitar is limited to 75 pieces around the world. That's it, 75, less than 100. So it's a very rare guitar, it's a very special guitar. And if you have the dough, I highly recommend picking it up, right? Because it's only gonna go up in value. I personally don't have $2,800 just to dish out <laughs> today. I wish I did because I would pick it up, man. Um, but yeah, let's just talk about it. Let's just check out the specs. I have not checked out the specs. I am being dead serious. I have no idea what this thing is made of, what it is comprised of or whatever. Um, but yeah, I figured I'd just, you know, hold out until this video. So I'm on musiciansfriend.com. I love Musician's Friend. Been using it ever since I was a little boy, ever since I was like 10 years old. So, Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray RS Electric Guitar, The Governor. <laughs> so this, <laughs> this guitar apparently has a, uh, a nickname, uh, The Governor. Alright, <laughs> I guess that's kind of cool. I don't know what that means. Maybe there's a, a story down below. But just th look at this thing, man. Look at these pictures, dude. <sighs> One thing about Ernie Ball Music Man is they absolutely just kill it, dude. They're like a really unique brand in the sense that they're like not a custom shop but they're not a mass produced i think these are all i think i'm going in circles now anyway they're not a mass produced uh company you know what i mean like they don't just put out millions of guitars for example this is only 75 pieces so um you know their quality is just top notch and arguably the best guitars i've ever played i've played several in my life um, yeah, Ernie Ball Music Man, they're just, they're insane, and I think we all know that. But now, talking about the Stingray RS in particular, I had a Stealth Stingray on this channel two years ago, actually. I bought it used secondhand off a of reverb, and I gotta be honest, ladies and gentlemen, I hated that guitar. It had a big, fat, huge baseball bat neck, really round fretboard radius, I think it was like nine and a half, ten inches or, so, or something like that. Had a top-mounted tremolo system, as they all do. Um, the only reason why I got it was because it was Ernie Ball Music Man and it was black and it looked kind of cool. But upon getting it, I was extremely disappointed. So, um, you know, the Stingray, uh, I'm 0 for 1 with the Stingrays, I guess, right now. So, you know, I don't know if I ever play one down the road. I'm sure I will some at some point, right? But anyway, let's just check out the body, or uh, check out this guitar, see what the body's made of, the neck, the fretboard, etc. The Governor from Ernie Ball Music Man is a special edition Stingray RS featuring a lightweight a kum oh god, a kume body, I think that's how you say that. A roasted maple neck is seated with an ebony fingerboard and is beautifully and is beautifully accented with white pearl Atlanta block position markers. So you guys know me, block inlays, roasted maple neck, ebony board, silver burst. This guitar has literally every single spec that I could want in terms of what we've gone over so far. I love the way this thing looks and I really sincerely appreciate everybody tagging me on Instagram. Um, letting me know that this thing was available. Seriously, I really do appreciate that. It uh, keeps me on my toes and it keeps me informed on you know all the cool things that are out. So, thank you so much. Numbered Certificate of Authenticity, that's cool. Nice little 
you know, a little added feature there. Okay, features a Kume body, roasted maple neck, empty board, two Music Man on nickel humbuckers. Okay, one thing that's interesting about Music Man um, is more often than not, it seems like they try to use their own in-house pickups, their own Ernie Ball Music Man pickups. Um, not a negative, but, you know, I personally would, I guess, maybe like a different brand of pickups in there just for variety, I guess. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, it's certainly something that they kind of do a decent amount. Bolt on, that's cool. 25 and a half inch scale, okay. 10 inch fretboard radius, again, has that round fretboard radius. I guess that's the uh, the spec of the Stingray. Um, yeah, it seems like I think it's what they all come with. 22 frets, all right. Um, yeah, but apart from that, man, it's pretty much just what you would expect with a Stingray. It just so happens that it's the coolest thing that I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now, 2,800 bucks. I don't think I'll ever be able to afford this or, you know, save up to just dish this out. That would go way over budget for this channel. And I try to be very cost effective and, uh, you know, try to try to save up my pennies when I'm creating content nowadays. So would it be awesome to have this guitar? Hell yeah. Um, is it enough to pull the trigger and buy it just for the sake of having it? Ah, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> but right now I can't afford this thing, man. Um, but all in all, man, this is just a beautiful guitar. And I think thanks to Adam Jones and Gibson, Silver Burst is making a comeback. And that's both a gift, both a gift and a curse. Because uh, I love Silver Burst so much, man, but um Silver Burst guitars are getting so expensive nowadays. So, like I said, a gift and a curse. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna get out of here. I've just been rambling on this guitar a little bit too much, I think. I'm just really excited about Silver Burst, and I just wanted to make a video talking about this thing, you know what I mean? It's my favorite finish of all time, block inlays. It's beautiful. I love it, man. Um, and it's from Ernie Ball Music Man, so anybody who picks up this guitar, one of these 75, you are very lucky. And I uh, hope you enjoy it, because, you know, it's a rare piece already. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this video. What do you guys think of this guitar? Leave all your thoughts down below. Again, thank you to everybody for tagging me and letting me know that this thing, um, was made <laughs> it really means a lot and i do sincerely appreciate you guys looking out for me because it helps me make content so thank you so much huge shout out to all my patrons and everybody who supports me i'm out of here stay safe stay healthy stay metal i'll see you guys next time later